Here's what they don't want you thinking about, and I'm going to give it to you in a minute and a half. Last night, they put a potato in front of a teleprompter, and we heard him slur through a campaign resignation speech that sounded worse than me on a date with Don Julio on Taco Tuesday. Now, he never gave us a reason for his resignation or gave any explanation of what was going on. He gave what sounded like a State of the Union address that mentioned he's going to spend the next six months of his presidency saving everybody money, fighting cancer and climate change, and he beat Big Pharma. Okay. Now, one of the biggest things that he said in his statement is that character matters most. Now, let's set aside the fact that he's the last recorded American politician to use the N-word publicly and he eulogized a grand cyclops of the KKK, Robert Byrd, as one of the finest men he ever knew. Let's forget that he fleeced American people for 50 plus years and peddled influence to the point of even using his crackhead son as a scapegoat so that he could dig his fingers into China and Ukraine. But as he passed the torch to Kamala Harris, now nah, we're not going to take the low-hanging fruit and remind everybody that the phrase body count means two different things between her and Hillary Clinton. But in 2019, she was categorized as the most liberal senator in America. She fights for the right for to murder unborn babies. That's not moral character. End of story. It's not moral character when you don't do your job. She hasn't done a single thing. Borders are. She's in a position to run for president without receiving a single vote. She's never laid out a plan for how she intends to make America or your life any better. Her vision for leadership is rhetorically and practically communist, and she's a career lawyer. So let's toss the character thing right out the window. Think about it.